Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do a review on Tinashe hair. I have had this hair for now two years. Um, so I like to do reviews on hair that I've had for a while so I can really see what it feels like, how long it lasts, like can I dye it, can I keep it in its natural state, things like that. So I feel like I have worn this hair out so I can really give you guys a full review because um, Tinashe hair is actually super affordable so sometimes you can be a little bit skeptical because you don't really know if affordable means like a same, like you just got a good deal, or it means like, oh, this hair is not gonna last, like there's no point, just buy the $600 hair instead. Without further ado, let's get into the review. So I have pictures, I have everything that you need, videos, all the good stuff. I've dyed this hair, I have worn this hair straight, I've worn this hair um, wet, all types of things. So I have everything you need in one video, so if you wanna see if Tanache hair is worth the hype, Okay, so I actually purchased Tinashe hair twice. Um, I always forget about the second time I purchased it. Well, actually three times. I've all, I always forget about the second time I purchased it because it was a train wreck. Um, so I will tell you guys about that experience. But um, the first time I purchased Tinashe hair is with this wig here. So I brushed it out, but I have not washed it. I have barely touched this hair in months. So this is what it looks like, just picking it up out of the hair basket that I have. So the luster is actually still really good. And the hair, the bundles are still intact. The curls are, are kind of loose, but... Um, Still there well kind of not compared to what it was like okay so I actually bought three bundles in a closure so I bought a 16 18 20 and 22 inch deep wave bundles and I bought a 14 inch um, closure um, this is what the sizing looks like so pretty standard um, it doesn't go very far back but I honestly didn't have any problem with the parting of the closure, with the style of the closure, or anything like that. My problem with the closure came later. I had a friend make the hair into a wig for me. So it was a glueless wig um, without the strap needed. Okay, shout out to her because I hate those straps. Oh my god, it's so painful. This wig right here has a strap in the back and it literally gives me headaches. Like I can't do this. I can't. Mm -mm. Okay, so I bought it in September, end of September 2018, so I'm actually going to insert some pictures of what it looked like, what um, different pictures and videos of when I was wearing it. The curl was incredible. It was like a corkscrew screw type of curl, like a type 3 curl. It was very intact. Like, the curl was beautiful. Like, I was so floored by how beautiful this hair was. Um, the curl was beautiful, it lasted, I could kind of wear it in a wet style, I could wear it in a um, natural style, I didn't have to do a lot of manipulation. I do love curly hair, so I feel like I tend to, like I know how to style curly hair, especially in this natural state, so um, I didn't have to do a lot of manipulation with the hair, which typically, you know, you add your mousse and like your oils and things like that, so I don't like to have my hair too heavy but I'll um, do enough just to define the curl and keep it light. So I ended up having a $10 discount, so I ended up paying 19, nine, well, I'm sorry. I ended up paying 100, I ended up paying $190.90. Um, before the discount, it was $200.95. So um, about $200 for four bundles and a closure and the curls were incredible like I was floored the curl it was just beautiful the luster was good it wasn't too shiny or like plastic looking and it also wasn't very dull so the luster was full and throughout the hair so the whole hair shaft had like a good luster so there was basically little to no shedding I do seal my webs with fray check um I believe I did seal my webs before making this wig so um 
I'm sure that has some to do with it, but when I was washing the hair prior to, I didn't see a lot of shedding. I was actually pretty impressed with the hair from the beginning. So when I first got the hair, I pretty much wore it every day. So this has been my go-to wig for the last two years, maybe like minus the last like five months or so. Um, so like I said, since it was a glueless wig and I didn't have a strap or anything that I had to add on to it, it fit perfectly, it fit very snug. So I could just throw it on in a bind or if I just needed a wig, um, which actually helped really well because the hair, all it needed was like a spritz sometimes or a quick brush through and I was ready to go. So the hair is very like shake and go, ready to go, like, you know, she's ready. There was no smell to the hair or anything like that. I don't quite remember how delivery went, but I don't remember it being an issue. I tend to remember issues more than I remember smooth situations, so um, I didn't seem to have any issues with um, shipping, and like I said, I did purchase the hair a second time, so um, so February comes around, so I've now had the hair at this point. I started wearing it in October, so I had it for November, December, January, February, four months. Hair was doing great, she was, you know, vivacious, she was doing what she had to do, so um, I didn't wear the wig in January because I was in Israel, so I um, came back, wore the wig some more, bought the wig again, or bought the hair again. I bought a 10, 12, 14 with a 10 inch closure for my mom. I'll insert some pictures of us kind of wearing the wig together, or the hair together, but her curls were even more popping. <laughs> I was shook. Like, the hair was so pretty like the curls were just these beautiful like ringlets like oh I was just so like flabbergasted and she doesn't really know how to do her hair like that so the fact that she you know was rocking this hair was like whoa by the way this is not sponsored I just really love the hair <laughs> so I mean April comes around I'm like and in this you know at this point let me get this hair one more time but this time I was gonna do a short look and kind of rock that short curly black curly look that the girls were doing i was obsessed i mean i have that saved on my instagram so many times so i was like yes this is what i gotta do so i bought the hair again but this time i messed up <laughs> this time i purchased the brazilian curly short bob wig it was a deep wave texture um they say it was human hair, 14 inches. I paid $114.23. I didn't feel like having somebody make it into a wig. I kind of just wanted to, you know, have a wig or buy it as is and just be done with it. What's that mean when they be, at that moment, they realize they effed up. Like, that's what I realized. So, girl, I, at first wore the wig no issue like I washed it and I wore the wig I think for like a few days or so and it would snag like the end of it would snag as if like the curls were like matting at the very end so obviously the curls aren't as thick as they were but um so like for example this would be the curl right it would be matting right here so then when I would put my fingers through it I would snag at the end and I was like, oh, okay, that's different, but okay, like, you know, like, we're just gonna deep condition and come back. Didn't work. I tried a silicone mix, that didn't work. Um, it got so bad that the hair was like, was like, the curls were almost like, um, I, this is literally a perfect way to, to visual. Like, it was like curling into itself and causing these huge knots like the knots were so ridiculous i was raking through the hair for hours only to get nowhere it got to the point where earlier this year i threw the wig away yeah i can't even explain to you how upset i was like this was supposed to be my graduation hair i bought it in like what i said april may 2019 so I was hoping to wear it for May and I didn't know what to do. So I ended up having to wear this hair for graduation um, and it looked great. You know, the hair was incredible like it always is, but I was just so upset cause like that wasn't the style I was going for. Um, nonetheless, girl, I was just happy to graduate and get out of there. So I wore the hair again in May. So I, like I said, I put some pictures in and then August comes around and girl, I was like, I want to try something new. Let me add some color to this hair. So I dyed it only to find out when I was dyeing it that I didn't have enough dye and I was kind of rushing the process. So I'm not going to say that it was 100% the hair's fault, 
but um, the hair was kind of already like matting in the nape a little bit. Um, so when I, like in May, like I said, I wore the hair. I wore it when I was in France and in London. So I didn't have the same hair products that I have at home there. So I was struggling a little bit to keep the hair lively and vivacious because it was kind of dying on me. So I dyed it, which is why it has this color in it here. So I just put some highlights in it. Um, I bleached it, excuse me. So I didn't dye it, I bleached it. So, um, the color came out pretty decent. It wasn't what I was hoping for, but, um, it came out pretty decent. And the hair looked okay while I was in Toronto. And I'll put some pictures in, or videos if I have any. However, that was really the last straw for the hair. Um, you know, after that, the closure kind of, you know... You know she didn't make it so the closure you know as you can see is kind of shedding a lot and then it's matted and like knotted here because it's shedding so the closure didn't really last and then the nape of the hair um, like I said was like knotting so the hair still feels really soft and beautiful but the curl is pretty much gone and the knotting and stuff after I dyed it earlier this year I tried to like flat iron it and straighten it and like try different looks I was like if the hair is not gonna last let me try different looks and see if I can just style the hair because um, I know with my Capella Amora hair I was able to um, still flat iron it and like it bounced back so this hair it didn't bounce back as hard however it had been dyed already so I think the hair was just kind of like at its end I did pay less money for this hair too so um, I didn't expect it to last as long as it did. It's been about two years now since I purchased the hair, um, almost to the date. So when it comes to flat ironing the hair, the closure does not flat iron. Um, the hair does, um, and it bounces back for the most part, especially if you do a deep condition after um, to get the curls to bounce back. However, the closure does not last. So I would say the hair is pretty good. Especially if you're just trying to use it for a look and you're not really looking to dye it. I'm sorry, to bleach it. You could probably dye it, but bleaching mm -mm, and not no rush job like I did. So um, I would definitely recommend the hair. The hair is incredible. It's beautiful. It's soft. It's bouncy. The ringlets are beautiful. And it lasted me about a year, I would say, a year before I bleached it. I think if I hadn't bleached it, it might have lasted me two at least maybe a year and a half um I would just have to deal with the sh um the knotting and the nape but other than that I think the hair I'm definitely gonna actually buy this hair again for a go-to curly wig like I had before I really love just having a go-to curly wig and I think big curly hair looks good on me um so I definitely like I said I recommend the hair I do not recommend bleaching it and I do not recommend their closures and I absolutely positively do not recommend their wigs. <laughs> so if you do shop from Tinashe, I would definitely just, if you do shop for Tinashe for curly hair, I would go for the deep wave hair in the bundles and I would not um, go for the closure. And that's fine, closures aren't really necessarily supposed to last a long time and that's kind of what I've been learning over time. Either way, the hair was beautiful and I definitely recommend. If you would like to see any more hair reviews, um, just give this video a like and leave a comment for what company you want me to review next. I did purchase the hair like I said. These prices are prices I paid out of my own pocket. Um, so hopefully somebody will sponsor me so I don't have to keep paying for hair. I feel like either way, if it's not good hair, it's not good hair. And if it's good hair, it's good hair, whether you bought it or you didn't. So I'm just gonna give my honest opinion and that's just that on that. So um, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Make sure you click the notifications so you don't miss a video. And of course, um, follow me on all platforms at Amaka's Advice. And I will see you guys later. Have a blessed day.